Mobile, Alabama, the Hall of Famer, is leading his troops. It's a battle on the field and the stands. And what's this? Shiloh Sanders says it's now the J6. Alabama A&M Jackson State Gulf Coast Challenge. Speaking of Hall of Famers, Robert Brazil was the host all weekend long. He had a great time taking care of everyone. Even enjoyed the coin flip. A&M with the trick bag early, running on a fake punt, moving the ball down the field. Donovan Eaglin was set to make everyone on the field feel his presence. Geronte Davis, though, a walking illustration that the Tiger defense will bend but not break. He comes up with the big sack right here. A&M has to settle for a field goal. They take a 3-0 lead early. Would not last long as Travis Hunter takes the inside sweep toss and he knows exactly what to do from there. Like a light, like a light, out like a light, baby. Isaiah Cox, you really have to be feeling yourself to kick off to this dude because he can do this. He returns at 68 yards, not for a touchdown, but man, that's some good field position. Unless, unless that field position ends in a blocked field goal. Man, that one hurt. Alabama A&M not done though. Xavier Lankford in the game at quarterback and he's just picking off yards here. Choo choo! Eaglin muscles his way over the line. It's a 10-7 ball game, Alabama A&M. Jackson State, however, has its own workhorse. You might have heard of him. Savion Wilkerson, he's not into arm tackles, but the Bulldog defense, they showed up to play on Saturday night. On fourth and goal, that's a no. Quincy Casey, the former Jackson State quarterback, he gets his shot at it. And you know, people usually don't try Travis Hunter out on the corner, but Casey does. Thought it was, but it wasn't. Travis Hunter, a big fan of Deion Sanders, his head coach. He studied everything that he did, and I mean everything. Second quarter action here, Hunter can play both ways. On the edge at receiver, he has the step, but uh, the timing just a little off. Shador Sanders with Dallas Daniels back in the lineup this week. Can't quite get the grab, but when in doubt, just go to your tight end. DJ Stevens with the touchdown. It's 14-10 Jackson State. It was almost a touchdown. Isaiah Bolden with the scoop. Initially ruled a fumble, but it was just an incomplete pass. Take the points off the board. Just before the half, Shador directing traffic. He puts the ball where only Shane Hooks can grab it. That's a touchdown, and Hooks is ready to audition for a solid gold. 21-10 Jackson State at the break. Third quarter is big game Willie Gaines. That's a touchdown back of the end zone. Two-point conversion, the Tebow jump pass. Eh, that's no good, but we do get Shador Sanders with the tackle. Later in the third quarter, bit of a scary moment here. Shador escapes the pocket, decides against the slide. He's hit hard. He fumbles. He goes down. He would eventually get up and leave the game, but not able to return for the rest of the evening. J.P. Andre comes in as the backup, and with Jackson State up 27-10, all he had to do was manage the offense, don't turn it over, run the clock. Got a little hairy at times, but he was able to close out the game for Jackson State. A&M only manages a field goal in the second half, although the Bulldogs had more than a few opportunities to get in the end zone. Jackson State with the win. They clinch the East Division and home field advantage for the SWAC championship game. The winner of the Gulf Coast Challenge, Jackson State University.